And welcome back to Stambaugh Stadium as we are all set for the third quarter. Chad Krasminski, Brian Mallott with you. Ursuline 29, Steubenville 12 as we kick off the 2023 season all week leading up to this. I felt like, man, it feels so early to be starting football season. It was muggy, it was hot, temperatures were high, but tonight a cold front has come through and it is a little cooler. It feels like fall. Now, I know that's going to change in the next several days, but at least for the night, it does feel like football weather. So it'll be Steubenville getting the football. Gavin Sidoris kicks it off. Now the return is taken across the 15. Football is loose. And the Irish say they have it. And they do. Turnover is so important. Yeah, you're going to see Felton here with the football. Tries to make a cut, and that football just comes flying out again. What you're seeing tonight is execution by Ursuline, putting their face mask right on the football. And, you know, I, I, I was almost speechless for a second because everything we had just talked about with the big red coming in, stabilizing the game a little bit, I thought it was going to be a high mountain to climb in terms of three possessions, and now all of a sudden, Ursuline's Less than 15 yards from scoring. That was Vinny Fecco. This is Christian Lynch bouncing it to the outside. He stacked up, pushed backwards. Vinny Fecco forced that fumble. It'll be second down upcoming. This is where the coaches try their best time and time and time again, Chad, in practice. They call it sudden change. You're doing an offensive drill. Next thing you know, they make you run to the other side of the field. Defense is on the, you know, on the field trying to make something happen. Well, tonight, it's real. Let's see if the Big Red can stop them here. Ursuline off a earlier turnover. Went for the jugular, went for the end zone. We'll see if they do it here. On the keeper, Erickson up the middle, lowers the shoulder, and rumbles down inside the 10. By the way, Ursuline is inside the BNR Wholesale Tire and Wheel Red Zone. Yeah, let's, throw it, let's throw it down to Kristen and get her thoughts. She spoke with head coach Dan Reardon. I was speaking with Dan Reardon at halftime. He said, you know, great start for his players to have under their belts, but do not be mistaken. Steubenville is a fantastic football team. They're going to need to be locked in the entire time and, you know, not take anything easily. Their defense is going to need to stay tight. And it is still a little wet out here on the ground. It's slick, and that's going to be making an impact tonight. Chad. What a great touchdown reception by Devontae Taylor. Second time. He high-pointed the ball and hauled it in, and the Ursuline Irish in for six again. Reardon says, same place, same call. Let's let Erickson throw it up. Taylor does the rest, and, you know, really that's just a will to win. I think at the end of the day, he went up, got the football, and, and Ursuline's just kind of dominating this football game. And I was, I was talking to a few folks at halftime, Chad, and, this is a little bit surprising for everybody right now. I, I really think that this whole stadium, maybe not the Irish fans, you know, they're excited, but I think that Big Red did not expect this to happen. Tay back on for the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. 10.40 to play here in the third quarter. We'll take a timeout. Ursuline rolling 36-12 in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. The best used cars in the valley at StadiumGM.com. Looking to sell your home? Call Classic Real Estate for hometown service, values, and expertise. Locally owned since 1969. Sell your home fast. Call Classic Real Estate at 330-757-8855. Football season is here, and we're gearing up for another winning season at Fred Martin Ford. You'll be winning, too, when you save 10% on every new F-150 in stock. Plus, you get a low 1.9% financing. 10% off means you can save as much as $7,500 on your next F-150, America's best-selling truck for the last 46 years. At Fred Martin Ford, everyone is an eligible receiver of great deals because we sell for less, a lot less. For almost 70 years, Gold Heating and Cooling's legacy has grown across our entire valley. Today, our growing team serves Trumbull, Mahoning, Columbiana, and the Shenango Valley, but we remain true to our core values. From our in-house dedicated dispatch team, installation and service crews, to our fine craftsmanship and our sheet metal fabrication shop. Our entire staff is ready to serve you. And we always have a truck right down the road from you. Galt Heating and Cooling, from our family to yours. Go with Galt! Your job search just got easier at myvalleyjobstoday.com. 
Search right now at myvalleyjobstoday.com. Looking to sell your home? Call Classic Real Estate for hometown service, values, and expertise. Locally owned since 1969. Sell your home fast. Call Classic Real Estate at 330-757-8855. 10.40 left to play in the third quarter. Ursuline 36, Steubenville 12. Chad Krispinski, Brian Malott with you. An early turnover in this second half has led to six more for Ursuline. Football is teed up for the Irish. Back deep to return for Steubenville is Sabrin Felton. This one sails over everybody's head. It's into the end zone for a touchback. So Steubenville will have it. First down and 10. And that's not the way you wanted to come out here in the third quarter. No, that was probably the, about as worse of a start as could happen for a big red. But, you know, still, you think about what, you know, what lies ahead and, you know, week one, that's one of the nice things about playing this type of a football game. Obviously, your confidence is going to take a hit, but you got a lot more season left to kind of overcome these types of losses, not to rush to a conclusion on this football game. But, you, you know, you learn some things tonight. Aiden Manning. We'll keep it himself, sweeping the near side. He's to the 15 and pushed out of bounds at the 19. Escorted out of bounds by C.J. Frasco. That's a broken play right there. Manning was expecting one of his players to come in motion on a jet sweep, and you'll kind of see, reach the ball out. No one was there. There's no said, one there. What do I do? So he starts running. And, and this is one thing when you have a quarterback that understands what's going on, he knows where the play was supposed to go. So rather than panicking and going opposite where the blocking is, he at least tried to, you know, pretend that he was the ball carrier, you know, follow the run as, as it was intended, you know. Folks to the right of Aiden Manning. They fake the handoff. They dump it off in the middle of the field. It's up ahead of the 29-yard line. What I like about that call right there, Chad, second time they've ran that call, that play, they kind of like a pop pass. And what that does, that's designed to take the pressure off of the guys up front. You know, you get this blitz start to happen. You think there's a running you play coming, and the next thing you know, they shoot a pop pass. You got to step back if you're the defense, right? There was a run play that did not net much. On Enough. the carry, it was Elijah Mullins. Enough for a first down, though. <laughs> Sometimes that's a successful play, you know. That's all it takes, put, right? Put your head down, hit the hole. And, you know, Chad, we talk about this going back to my days at Austin Fitch. Sometimes there's not a hole, right? And the coaches will tell the running backs, you got to bring your own block. you got to make a hole. And so what they look for are two jerseys of the same color. Just hit that seam and go hard and, you know, see if you can get a yard or two. Aiden Manning rolling, dumps it off. He'll make the catch, and he's dropped at the 30-yard line. Boy, he got decked immediately, and I think that may have been Tyran Davis who made the stop. Yeah, Davis is having a great football game, you know, doing a good thing on offense and making a nice play there. You're seeing very sound football week one for this Irish team, so they must have had a great camp, and again, we know what Coach Reard and his staff's all about. They've been doing this for a long time with a lot of success. Tackle for loss on the play, second down and long. It's a quick hitter up the middle, and that hole, if there was one, closed very, very quickly. There to make the tackle for Ursuline was Israel Rosario. That'll set up a third down play. Another one of these plays where they're trying to be, you know, fancy and get that football right to the up back, and, and, and really, you know, that's been successful, but at the end of the day, uh, the holes are just not there. The defensive line, the linebackers. Ursuline's defense, I would say, has matched the output that the offense has matched. And the offense has got 36 points on the, on the scoreboard, and we're not even halfway through the third quarter. Aiden Manning looking, throws on the run. It is caught up to the 38-yard line. Shy of a first down on the receiving end was Sabrin Felton. It'll set up a fourth down. And minimal, but a difficult situation at this part of the field. But they're going to keep the offense out there. Back in comes quarterback Lucas McAllister. We saw him on one play sweep the near side, a convoy of blockers. McAllister puts his head down and falls forward, and he is brought down short of the line to gain, and it will be first down and 10 for Ursuline as we're down to 8.01 left to play. There's just not much of a threat throwing the football right now. 
And so if you're Ursland, you're kind of stacking the box. And, you know, Steubenville tries to come back and counter that with an extra blocker, right? If your quarterback's going to run the football, you can put an extra blocker out there. And you're really just playing a numbers game, trying to get to the edge, and hopefully you can – you know, spring a little bit of a run and pick up the first down. But, you know, all night long, I, I got to say, the opening drive did not go well. The Ursland defense has made some changes, and they're working. Erickson takes the snap. He will sweep the far side, and Erickson runs into the far sideline. He wasn't able to get much running room. I just heard from WKBN Chief Meteorologist Paul Wetzel, who says that within 30 to 45 minutes, heavy rains are en route along with the potential for some lightning. And so we believe Paul, the <laughs> the Irish will look to get the clock moving here at this stage of the game. It's a run play up over the right side down to the 40 yard line. Christian Lynch pushed Lynch backwards. That will set up a third down situation. As we're down to 740 to play in this third quarter. Third down, the yeah, I think what you're starting to get into a situation here, Chad, is just a clock, right? You look at seven minutes and counting, seven and a half minutes, and, you know, coaches start to play the probability. You know, how many possessions are left? Erickson hit as he throws, and it's intercepted. Picked off and taken back in the opposite direction. This is Elijah Mullins. Convoy of blockers, and Mullins in. Touchdown, pick six. And then you're going to have a penalty on top of it. Unnecessary roughness on Lynch after the play. He tackles Mullins in the end zone. And so this is going to probably be applied, I believe, on the kickoff. But uh, you're going to see here, drops back the pass, and Erickson, you know, just staring down his receiver. And I think the ball got hit, right, as he was throwing. And this is Mullins. We talked about him earlier. Plays linebacker, plays running back, up back. And just does a great job once he catches the football here. You know, make a couple guys miss and just really, really running hard. Here it is right at the end. Kind of a little bit of a finger point. And then you'll see the, the, the pull down. Horse caller. It's a oh. horse caller after the Touchdown play. Touchdown is good. And it'll be assessed on the kickoff. It's cut off there at the tail end or the beginning of that. Anthony Montana. I know Lynch was not happy on that play because... You know, at halftime, we listened to his his uh, introduction and whatnot, and he talked about how he broke his leg playing against the Big Red. So I think he just had a little bit of emotion there, trying to bring the ball carrier down and, you know, kind of got away from himself. Winds are starting to whip up now. That's a big penalty, too, because they got to kick into the wind here. So bringing 15 yards in the play, I think, will allow them to get a little bit better field position. You know. Folks. Is the running back. It's joined by Mullins. And it's a run play that goes to the right side and scampering in is Kylie Hopkins for two. 7.09 left in the third, 36-20 in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. She leaves furniture, appliances, and mattresses. The best things in life happen at home. I'm Wendy Perez. When you work with the Wendy Perez team, we guarantee you exceptional service, second to none. We have the key to your next home. Call Wendy Perez, new brokerage, same great service. At Youngstown Tile Retail Design Center, we're your local leaders in residential flooring and luxury home projects. We have proudly served our customers and local community for over 75 years. Stop by and visit our new showroom. Let's talk about your home renovation ideas. We have an assortment of products on display for you to view. We carry top brands such as Dow Tile, LaPay, Schluter Systems, and many more. At Youngstown Tile Retail Design Center, we want to help bring your home renovation ideas to life. For quality service, quality products, and first-in-class customer service. Go bold, go local, go Youngstown Tile. Attention high school sophomores. Now is the time to enroll at the Mahoning County Career and Technical Center. At MCCTC, we do things differently. We approach learning in the new school, hands-on, real-world way, so that you are prepared not just for the jobs of today, but for the jobs of the future. We inspire innovation and collaboration in our more than 20 high-tech labs. Visit MahoningCTC.com and book a tour with me today. We can't wait to meet you. The Honda Store in Boardman would like to wish both teams good luck in tonight's game. Looking for a new car, truck, or SUV? Come to the Honda Store and see why you should be driving a Honda. I'm Wendy Perez. 
When you work with a Wendepress team, we guarantee you exceptional service, second to none. We have the key to your next home. Call Wendy Perez, new brokerage, same great service. 7.09 left to play in the third quarter. We've got ourselves a ball game now. It's a two score game, Ursuline 36, Steubenville 20. The kickoff will now be aided by the personal foul penalty, the horse collar that is. Steubenville will kick off from the Ursuline 45 yard line. This is a place kicker that does not need any help. No, not this at ball, all. He's got a this ball might go into the Bigley Center. Yeah. <laughs> Cannon for a leg. It's a left footed kicker. You don't see a ton of those. Watch for an, a, a, a onside kick here. You got field position in your in your, in your place. Right? Just watch for something like a squib kick or something like that. No, they didn't. So he drills that one into the fence. Below the uprights, and that'll be first and ten for the Irish following the pick six. Sometimes. Taken back by Elijah Mullins. Sometimes when you get that field position like that on a kickoff, it's like, why not? Either a little pooch, maybe even just a dribbler, and see if you can go get the football. And I was kind of surprised that did not happen, you know, knowing that it's still a two-possession football game, and the defense has not had too much luck, albeit they just did, you know, not only get a turnover, but took it to the house for six points. So back out comes Erickson and Christian Lynch. Lynch to the left of Erickson. Erickson will go back to the air. He fires to the far side, and the catch is made up across the 25-yard line. And he'll mark him down just across. Devontae Taylor, who's had a monster night. Yeah, this has been a matchup of 13s. Devontae Taylor and Lawson Lewis, cornerback and receiver all night long. Pickup of six yards. This is Christian Lynch across the 30. He's ahead of the 32-yard line, and that will move the chains. First and 10 for Ursuline. If you're wondering, 13 for Ursuline, a half a foot taller than 13 for Steubenville, so that might be something that they're looking to play to that, you know, that game plan. Obviously, through a couple jump balls in the end zone, both worked out. Erickson gives it to Lynch. Lynch has an opening, and he puts his shoulder down, blasting his way ahead up near the 50-yard line, and it'll be another Irish first down. You know, you watch Lynch, and one thing about him is he's really like a one-cut guy. So you're going to see right here a big hole, but ultimately he always ends up head down, shoulder lean, trying to gain a few extra yards. He reminds me of an old-school running back. Mullins just jumped across, showing blitz. And that'll be a free five yards for the Irish. So they'll march it down to the 45 of Steubenville. Into the backfield is checked in Tyreek Donlow, a very physical runner. He's wreaked havoc on the defensive side already tonight. The run play goes to Don Lowe, lowers the shoulder, breaking tackles, and he has another Ursuline first down, and he pops right back up. He's taken down at the 35, but there's a penalty flag down. That's a big, big running back. This one's going to come back, I believe. Oh, March, man, marching off some white. extra. Five yards, first down. Santonio Brown called for the face mask. Usually when you see those penalty flags come in behind the run, you know, usually it's a hold or something on the offense but five more yards for the irish first down and you know this is just kind of what we've seen a response all night long is anything that does go wrong for the irish next thing you know they're back out there the offense is setting the tone right and again remember it's week one right usually you think defense is ahead of the offense you know usually the that's just kind of the way it has always been you know in my time playing football but ultimately tonight you can see a lot of Practice has gone in, a lot of execution. You have a quarterback who's done it for a few years, a couple of receivers. I know Coach was worried about the guys up front, but they're holding in there. No doubt about that. We're halfway home here in the third quarter. D.C. Farrell comes in motion left to right. The give up the middle is to Don Lowe, and he spins his way. Football came out. Oh, boy. Steubenville may have it. They're going to uncover the pile. Big red ball. Mullins. Elijah Mullins. The last two possessions and with the football in his hand. Mullins with a pick six, taken all the way back. And now the beneficiary is Mullins, swiping it free, and then he pounced on it. 
recovering the fumble. And that's a good view right there for anybody that's watching at home, young guys watching at home. If you're playing defense, you got to be around the football. You might not make a tackle, but balls come loose, and next thing you know, you're jumping on it. Likewise, for the offensive linemen, right, they're talking about constantly run to the football. You never know how it's going to play out, and that's a perfect situation where Mullins, coming from the back, ends up recovering that football. Xavier Folks is the running back. And he will take the handoff over the right side. Folks falls forward to about the 29-yard line. They may give him the 28. Can we talk about leadership for a second? Oh, right, so you, you, you go into the half down 26, I believe, 24, 26 points, and you come out and you have a turnover immediately. What do you say to a bunch of young guys to say, put it behind you and keep playing? To the ground, Steubenville will stay. Ahead to the 40-yard line is Folks. This has the making of something special here, Chad, because the wind's picking back up, the rain's starting to come. This team runs the football very hard, and it just they're just going to keep on pounding the ball. This is what we talked about at the half. I don't think that they're going to go in there and try and draw up all these gadget plays. They're going to play hard football, and they're going to see you know what happens. 12-yard gain, first down and 10 for Steubenville. Folks bobbing and weaving his way, cuts back inside. He's ahead to the 49-yard line. Big chunk of yardage on first down. It'll set up a second down and short play. You feel the momentum change? I know we're a little bit above the field, but I can just sense the fact that there's a lot of confidence in the red program right now. Ball came free as Manning pounced on it. So what was a second and short becomes third and a little bit longer, but not much. Yeah, and again, I think this is probably four down territory when you got the, you know, the ball this close. I think they're going to run the football hard up the middle and say, if you can stop us twice, then you deserve the ball back. I don't think they're going to get too cute here. Third down and two upcoming. Full house in the backfield. They give it to Mullins. Mullins blasts his way down to the 45-yard line, and it's another Steubenville first down. I don't know a ton about the Big Red, but I believe he's the heart and soul of this football team. I think he's got a lot of energy. I think he's a tough player. I think the coaches trust him with the football. And, you know, you see in tough situations, they're going to hand the ball off to 25 and, you know, playing defense, playing offense. That's what a great high school football player can do for a team. They'll keep it to the ground. Folks puts his head down, and he's wrestled to the turf. Just shy of the 40-yard line, brought down at the 41. And this is where you're starting to see this big red offensive line reestablish themselves, right? That defensive line was winning up front, and now they're not. And again, when we talk about a team that wants to run the ball, second down and six is perfect. Not only can you run the ball again and you know have a good short third down, but now if you want to do a bootleg or something like that and throw the ball, this is a great opportunity. Manning with a long count brings a man in motion. And he will give it to the right side. This is Kylie Hopkins, and he was decked. Similar to the play for the two-point conversion. Down here trying to, yeah, they're trying to attack the edge, thinking that everybody's going to be tight, trying to play in that phone, phone booth. They haven't had much success tonight getting outside on the edge. And what you're seeing there is the end man of the line of scrimmage and the outside linebacker coming up and setting the edge. And what that allows them to do is turn it back in, right? Don't let that offensive player get outside you. That's what the coaches teach them all the time is turn it back in. You got all your buddies there to help. Frasco made the stop there. Big Red dumps it off to the right side, making the catch is Hill, and Hill will pick up what is necessary. He's a big-time wide receiver, a Division I college recruit. Bowling Green, Western Michigan among those who have offered him. We're down to 222 left in quarter number three. Steubenville on the move once again as the rain starting to pick up here at Stambaugh Stadium. Xavier Folks. It's the running back. He takes the handoff and he falls forward inside the 30 yard line down to the 28 yard line. You can see from our vantage point here, Chad, 
most of the first quarter and the entire second quarter, you saw a lot of Irish colors in the backfield, right? You saw them playing behind the line of scrimmage, getting penetration, wreaking havoc. So far this half, you see white shirts, walls, right? Keeping them out, establishing dominance up front. Aiden Manning will turn and give. It's a run play that gets stacked up, and we've called this young man's name quite a bit. That would be Israel Rosario also there. It's Israel Davis clogging things up. Third down upcoming. Yeah, you're going to see again trying to stretch the football a little bit and really at the point of attack, they're not, they're not doing too bad on the offensive line, but ultimately backside penetration is coming and it's able to chase the play down. And you know, it's also interesting at the beginning of the game, they were attacking the right side of the offense. Now they're going to the left. This is Folks up the middle. He pushes his way down inside the 25 yard line. Something that I'm starting to pay attention to, Chad. There's one minute left in the third quarter. The team that likes to run the ball is running into the wind. The team that likes to throw the ball has the wind with them right now. It's going to flip here in a minute. And I'm just telling you, if this weather picks up, the Irish are going to have to lean on the running game a little bit more than they have so far this football game to get out of here with a victory. First and 10, Big Red inside the final minute of this third quarter. Savior Folks is the tailback. Aiden Manning with a long count. He now takes the snap, fakes the hand off Manning to throw, firing, sliding catch at the 10 yard line. What a grab right on the turf by Lee Anthony Sewell and Steubenville has reached the BNR wholesale tire and wheel red zone as the big red is right back to the line of scrimmage. Manning turns, gives, folks, decked by Frasco. Yeah, coming up from his defensive back position, just doing a great job of delivering a nice hit. What you're seeing from Big Red, the pass play and then the run play, Chad, the exact same design. Both going to the left. The only difference is the, the offensive line staying back on that pass, and that's where the guys become wide open because all the defense is sucking down. We had a whistle blow, and I think that's going to be it for the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We go to the fourth. Ursula 36, Steubenville 20 on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. The best used cars in the Valley at StadiumGM.com. If you're under 25 and out of school, let MCTA help you develop job skills. They can provide a career mentor, offer job readiness training, connect you with job shadow opportunities, find paid work experience locally, and more. Call to get started with MCTA today. Find new roads to savings at the Stadium Superstore, the only place where you'll find every GM brand. Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac all under one roof. Visit StadiumGM.com right now. Search through our massive new and used car inventory and find the perfect make and model to fit your needs. Value your trade and get pre-approved online. You'll find out why nobody beats a stadium deal. We offer pickup and delivery for service as well. It's the Stadium Superstore at StadiumGM.com. When it's time to plan your dream kitchen, trust the industry leader in fine surfaces, BCI Granite. Our service to you begins in our showroom with our selection of granite, engineered quartz, and quartzite, while we educate you on each unique characteristic. We take pride in going above and beyond what's expected. We view our customers as family, and we strive to create something special and stunning for you. BCI Granite. We move mountains. For you, find us on Meridian Road and BCIGranite.com. Call Ingram, Cassis, and Grem when healthcare providers or nursing homes fail to keep your loved ones safe from preventable harm or injuries. You may have grounds for a medical malpractice lawsuit. At ICG Legal, our personal injury attorneys are backed by more than 100 years of combined legal experience and are highly skilled in this complex area of law. We will fight for full compensation. Regardless of your situation, call Ingram, Cassis, and Grem today for the strong representation that you deserve. 
If you're under 25 and out of school, let MCTA help you rock your next job interview. They can set up transportation to get you there on time, research employers, help with your application, purchase proper clothing, and more. Call to get started with MCTA today. And welcome back to Stambaugh Stadium. 12 minutes to play in week one on this Thursday night. Glad you're with us. Chad Krasminski, Brian Mallott with you. Steubenville on the move, trailing at 36-20. It is second down for Big Red. Aiden Manning fakes the handoff, rolling to the near side, firing, and is tipped and incomplete. That was close on in coverage. For Ursuline on the play was Jaquise Liaison. And it was intended for the big guy, Isaac Hill, I do believe. Yeah, another play action pass. Going to boot the quarterback out and throws a nice ball, but really a great recovery by liaison there. We've got a player down, and this is, I think this is just a cramp. Some of the things we see at the beginning of the season, guys going both directions. I, th I think they're just stretching them out. Hopefully that's all it is. I just really feel like, an, an, you know, with an injured player, it's telling you this here. I believe that momentum has swung majorly. I think that Big Red has reestablished themselves, and that's something that I, you know, a winning program. That, those are just things that I, I don't know if they're teachable or they just they know how to turn it around. They expect the no win, doubt. and and I think that it's very, you know, and that's not to say that Ursula doesn't too, right? They're both good football programs, but I just think that this shows you that regardless of the outcome tonight, both of these teams are going to position themselves for a chance to make a deep run and maybe bring some hardware home. Tyran Davis shaken up on the play. He jogs off under his own power. That's good to see. And so it'll bring up a third down situation upcoming. 36-20 is our score. Into the backfield. Kajwan Bryant. Third down upcoming for the Irish defense. Under center is Aiden Manning. And Manning fakes the handoff. He will roll. He's flushed, looking towards the end zone, and he will jump and fire, and it's intercepted and taken up to the five-yard line. And a huge turnover for Ursland. John Frangos picked it off as Manning forced that one, and the Irish come away with the football. What a play defensively. Yeah, Chad, you know, as this play was unfolding in my mind, I was just thinking to myself, three out of four plays you're throwing the football. And it's just not what got them here, right? They're running the ball. They're, they're dominating up front. And I just feel like that was a little bit of a of a stretch of a play call. And I understand, right? You're, you're having some success. You want to do the bootleg. But at the end of the day, you know, you had two plays on the six-yard line, I think it was, to get into the end zone. And that, that's just something that I think they're, you know, they're going to look back on that play call and they're going to just say, oh, I wish I had that one back. And, you know, also, too, this is a situation where we talked earlier. You throw the football away and you give yourself another opportunity to, to, to have some success. But that was a forced throw and a bad result. Run play goes to Christian Lynch. And he is escorted out of bounds after a short pickup. Lynch. You would imagine Ursland would just continue to pound the rock now, but how pivotal have those three turnovers been for Steubenville and Ursland? To their credit, they have taken advantage of every single one. Yeah, they have so far. Let's see what they can do here because we know the rain's coming too. Erickson picks up the low snap, puts his head down, pushes the pile up to the 18-yard line. Let's define success on this one too, right? Success is not exactly scoring a touchdown. When you're starting with the ball inside the 20-yard line, if they can just get that ball out to 40, 50-yard line, even if they have to punt it, you know, again, the clock becomes the issue, right? There's 11 minutes left, 11 minutes and 22 seconds left, and, you know, for a team that doesn't throw the ball a lot, you, you start to play the probabilities. First down and 10, Erickson, another low snap, gives to Christian Lynch. Lynch across the 25 out to the 27 yard line and this is where over the course of a football game he continues to run hard and boy when they continue to pound and pound and pound we have an injured steubenville player down on the field and it appears that it is jalen minifield yeah he's he's holding his knee seems to be in a little bit of pain and <laughs> here goes the trainer just 
lay back. I'm going to stretch you out here. But, you know, Chad, watching this last play, I had an opportunity to play football. Haven't been coached really, but announcing with you, the one thing yep. I've never done is referee. And the referee did a great job of getting out of the way because he almost got ran over. And <laughs> I just think back to, you know, being a player myself. And sometimes, you know, there's an extra blocker out there with the with the official. And nice job just getting out of the way. Just just barely. You're going to see it on this play right there. Almost gets taken out and just does a fantastic job of excusing himself from the action. Lift to referee another day. Yeah. That's for sure. And yeah, they're working on the left calf. In case you're just joining us, this one has been a back and forth affair. We're in the fourth quarter, 11 01. Christian Lynch got things started, squirting his way up the middle in for the touchdown. And then for Steubenville, Elijah Mullins plunged his way in. That made it 8 6. And then Erickson got his big night started. This is Tyran Davis on the receiving end for a touchdown pass. And Davis. Boy, he was not done. When it's all said and done, this is an 84-yard touchdown pitch and catch, and Ursuline is off and running. Ursuline not done yet. Erickson not done yet. A pretty-looking touchdown pass to Devontae Taylor. He's been a monster. Xavier Folks found Pater Taylor on the receiving end again. Those two continue to show a chemistry, and then Mullins with a pick six took this one all the way back. Ursula now trying to work on the clock. The clock is winding inside of 11 minutes left. It is second down and short, second and two. Some movement up front. Steubenville showing blitz, folks yeah. off the edge. That's exactly why they make these fake snap calls. You're going to see where the pressure's coming. This is Christian Lynch, muscles his way up to the 29 yard line Chad I'm going to try and run with a little bit of a theme you talked about the mind games right so pre-snap they do the hard count and what you see is the front for Steubenville go to the left after the audible guess what happens pressure comes from the left and everybody's going to the right all right so these are the things that a young offensive line but an experienced quarterback they've got to start to work through and I know one thing, all these blitzes are going to come out here in the fourth quarter because they're looking for a turnover. They know they need points fast. Steubenville needs points in the worst way. They'll say it's a first down for Ursuline. Three wide receivers, far side to the right, one near side to the left. Erickson fires, completes the slant pass ahead of the 35-yard line. That's a great example of take what the defense gives you, right? Pressure is coming. You're going to see a fake here and very quickly get the football out. Nice job of reading the defense, not trying to do too much in a situation where just continuing to move the football is probably the most important thing. You see Farrell, nice catch, sliding to the turf. And it is second down and five. 940 left to play in the ball game. Irish keep it to the ground, and this time Christian Lynch is upended, brought down on the play by Peyton Gorby, who undercut him. That'll set up a third down and five, maybe six on the play. You see, the Irish are not in any hurry. By by no means are they in a hurry. But I'm gonna I'm gonna mention a name here, Chad. I think DC Farrell's gonna do something big before the night's over. Haven't seen as much of him as we usually do. Erickson under duress, and he's sacked. Back-to-back -back plays. Peyton Gorby blowing that thing up as the Irish looking to go to the air, and it's a sack, and Ursuline will have to punt. And yeah, this was a hard sack, too. His head slammed off the turf, and he was not happy about it, looking for the face mask call, but didn't have an opportunity, and, you know, that's, just, that's another blitz. They basically said, we have not had success covering the guys downfield, so we're going to eliminate the opportunity to sit back there and pick us apart. C.J. Frasco in punt formation. Frasco gets the kick away. Sakach is back deep to return. It angles and heads out of bounds. We're back after this on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Farmers National Bank, rock solid. 
Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard is looking to immediately add some new faces to our team to fill a number of open positions. If you have experience in silk screening or graphic design or are eager to learn, please email us your resume or apply in person today. We went and we checked with individuals that used R&D construction and they all were very pleased with the quality of his work. They put 43 square of shingle on my roof. That was a complete tear off and replacement in two days. Randy recommended a certain roof pattern for us that we weren't even considering. We used that shingle on our house and we, we were thrilled with it. We never would have chosen that shingle. It really pops on our roof. We were very impressed with his vision. We were very impressed with his professionalism. It was perfect. We love it. I would recommend him to anyone. Football season is here, and we're gearing up for another winning season at Fred Martin Ford. You'll be winning, too, when you save 10% on every new F-150 in stock. Plus, you get a low 1.9% financing. 10% off means you can save as much as $7,500 on your next F-150, America's best-selling truck for the last 46 years. At Fred Martin Ford, everyone is an eligible receiver of great deals because we sell for less, a lot less. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Fourth quarter, 16-point football game. Steubenville trailing 36-20 to Ursuline. Big Red with the football. Manning will look to throw once again. Plants is hit. Football is loose. And Ursuline is recovered. Incomplete. I'm going to call that an incomplete they pass. They will. You're right. It's rolled incomplete. The official in the back side approached as if it was going to be rolled a fumble. It's a hold against Steubenville anyway. But looking back, his arm was coming forward as he was hit. Let's look and see. Yeah, here you go. You see him trying to th throw the ball again. And that's the right call. The officials have had a really good night making some calls that are tough. And quarterback took a big hit there. I'm going to tell you, that was one that he's going to feel tomorrow. And Chad, everything we do, we try to point out the positives. Yeah. Right now, I think you got to keep running the football. Like, I, I just, I think you got to ask the defense of Ursuline to stop us again. And, and that's something that now it's even more difficult because it's it's first down in 21 or 22 yards. Aiden Manning with 8-10 left to play in the game. 36-20 Ursuline and Manning will give it to Savior Folks. He's up the middle and he picked up two, maybe three on the play. Hit by a host of Irish defenders. First made by I know it's difficult to think that, that, that that's the game plan that's going to work, but right now I don't think you're in that much of, a, of an urgent situation, although, again, the rain's starting to pick back up. It's been on and off tonight, so I think the coaches are monitoring that too, trying to squeeze every opportunity they can out while the conditions are pleasant. Second down and 16, 7.35 on a rolling fourth quarter clock. Manning looking to dump it off, does so. Hill makes the catch, puts on a move, cuts it back inside and is pushed out of bounds. He's still well shy of a first down. It'll set up a third down and long situation for Steubenville. Isaac Hill is a football player. He's an athlete. You know, just, just a little simple catch, but watch what he does, right? Makes a guy miss, makes another one miss, continues to push downfield. He's going to be, I know you were talking about the offers that he has. I, I, I just feel like watching, he's a talented player that understands the game and the coaches have put him in some successful you know, situations with the pop pass and a few other you know, opportunities. And we have a whistle and a timeout called with 7.28 left to play. We'll take a timeout as well. 36-20 year slid on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Sheely's Furniture, Appliances, and Mattresses. The best things in life happen at home. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to our Boardman location and pregame with us with dollar beers starting at 3 p.m. Also want to stay and watch the game? We'll have it live for you. That's Coca's Pizza Boardman. We serve it hot. The Honda Store in Boardman would like to wish both teams good luck in tonight's game. Looking for a new car, truck, or SUV? Come to the Honda Store and see why you should be driving a Honda. The dog days of summer are here. 
That's when your AC will be working its hardest to keep you cool and comfortable. If your AC decides to quit on the hottest day of the year, don't sweat it. Ainsley Heating and Cooling has true 24-hour service at no extra charge. That's right, you will receive the same fast, reliable service at no additional cost for nights, weekends, or even holidays. Get Ainsley Heating and Cooling when you need to get back in the cool. You've always imagined yourself behind the wheel of a Cadillac. At Stadium Cadillac in Salem, we offer the largest selection of certified pre-owned Cadillacs in the area. Find the Cadillac you've been dreaming of, where the customer is king. Just a short drive from anywhere or online at StadiumCadillac.com. Whether it's a sedan or SUV, we have the certified pre-owned Cadillac for you. Locally owned Stadium Cadillac in Salem, Ohio. Make your dream a reality. Or view all the great selection at StadiumCadillac.com. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come in after the game or watch the game live with us, and you can get a free appetizer with any large pizza purchase. That's any Coca's Pizza dine-in location. Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. 7.28 left to play in the fourth quarter. Ursuline with a 16-point lead over Steubenville. Big Red with the football. This one is intercepted by Fresco, and Fresco has dropped at the... 39 yard line. Frasco has had a monster night on the defensive side. By number seven, CJ Frasco. Third and long, and Steubenville comes out thinking they got to throw the football. And just one of those situations quarterback drops back on his right foot and plants, right? And lets it rip. And really, this is more Frasco than anything, right? He's trying to drop back into coverage, right? This is a defender who, who is literally trying to get to a spot on the field. Next thing you know, jumps up, makes a play on the football, and that right there may be the play of the game in terms of stopping the opportunity for the Big Red to come back. 7.20 left. Ursuline takes over. Another turnover for Steubenville. Dan Reardon told me earlier this week turnovers would be key. Run play goes to Christian Lynch, and he is stuffed immediately goes to Lynch. for his for as well played of a first half, we've had a pretty sloppy second half in terms of turnovers, right? You know, I think part of that just has to do with the fact that there was a big lead on the scoreboard. You start to do some things that you don't necessarily intend to do as much, but a lot of turnovers this second half, which really made it entertaining, though. You know, you thought they had a chance, and then they turned the ball over, and yep. another turnover. So it's been an entertaining football game, and I think it's just, you know, what's to come with high school football in Youngstown this year? Erickson letting the play clock wind down inside of seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Errant snap and Erickson pounces on it. And there, just like you said, can't say this one is over by any stretch of the imagination. And you know what's kind of cool to say is like, this is what makes high school football so great, right? These are kids that are still figuring things out. They're going to school, right? They got a lot of different things going on in their life. And, you know, there, there's going to be plays like that. You know, when you get to the call drinks and the professional ranks it's a job you know it really is and i think that's the most beautiful thing about high school football is these are a bunch of friends right? they're trying to figure it out they're trying to get after it and things are going to happen wind is whipping up just a bit now it is third down and long for ursuline third and 25. eric will give it to lynch lynch bounces it to the outside 50 puts his head down and stays inbounds to keep the clock winding, so that's an alert play by a veteran. Yeah, very well done. You know, probably could have pushed it outside a little bit more and see if he could gain a few more yards, but the most important thing other than holding on to the football is getting down, and you see he kind of gave himself up, going to the ground, lowers that shoulder to make sure he stays in bounds. This fourth down right here, I think Ursula let the clock run as far as they can, probably use a timeout, and I wouldn't be surprised if they line up to go for it, but then punt the football. You know, they kind of try to show run, make sure everybody's paying attention, and kick one over their heads. So the weather's coming. I'm getting, you know, you're getting feeds from uh, yep. the professionals. I'm getting them from the, the non-professionals at the house saying, hey, take cover. It's coming. So <laughs> I don't know who's going to be right and when it is, but the wind is blowing every direction. The rain has come from every direction now. And the big thing is, Chad, we don't have anywhere to go if it starts raining too No, bad. we sure don't. We're here, and there's two timeouts remaining for each side now. As the weather has started to pick up. The area's best football players are part of WKBN's Big 22. It is sponsored by RD Construction and by Fred Martin Ford, where they sell for less, a lot less. 
Go to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players in the Valley. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.